Hi guys, welcome to a video and in today's video I'm quite excited actually because I'm about to review my favourite, yes my most ever favourite lesbian film, I Can't Think Straight. This film is my baby, I will always have a special place in my heart for this film, so this review might be a little biased but at the same time I'm going to try and give an objective critique of the film as well. So if you didn't know, the film is about a woman named Tala who is an upper class woman from Jordan who is planning to to get married to a man but her life changes when she meets Layla, a British Indian woman and the two basically fall in love and it gives me the fuzzies. First off Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray is an actual goddess and look it doesn't hurt that both actresses in this film are beyond beautiful, they, they both absolutely ooze gorgeousness. And second of all they just have this chemistry between them that is absolutely delicious. To be fair, Lisa Ray could have chemistry with a toaster, so you know that it might just be Lisa Ray but it, it just it doesn't matter. So why do I love this film so much? Why is this film my favourite film out of all the lesbian cinema we have? Because I'm a romantic and this film is romantic. This film is so gorgeous and romantic and feel good. There's no dark undertones, there's no trauma, nobody dies. It's just romantic. It is the most romantic lesbian film I've ever seen and my favourite part Part of this film is when Layla hands Tala the book she's written and inside the book it says I love you and oh my gosh. The film offers representation for women of colour and for Muslim women as well because Muslim lesbians exist but we very rarely see that kind of representation and the film also delves into politics and religion as well, it's not just your standard cookie cutter romantic comedy. So on a subjective level this is my favourite ever lesbian film and I adore it. I specifically rewatched it so I can make this review and I just had a smile on my face the whole time. I'm just soft. So if I'm going to critique this film objectively, look, it doesn't have the highest budget behind it, it's not the highest production quality film has to offer, the acting is also questionable in some places, <laughs> the love scenes are just basically sensual music with a close up of a bare shoulder but you know what, I'll take it and Lisa Ray's shoulder does more for me than than most. Also in terms of narrative, the plotline is quite a cliche one, you know, a woman is about to be married to a man or is entangled with a man and then she meets a woman and blah blah blah. That is something that's that's fairly overdone in lesbian media. But what's interesting about this film is the way Tala and Layla get together is actually quite organic. The turmoil over sexuality happens after they've kind of initially gotten together. They don't meet each other and start questioning everything. So it's a mix of sexuality not being in the picture but then also the film is obviously very much about sexuality after they've gotten together because you know you're also dealing with women from different cultural backgrounds which aren't necessarily embracing of lesbianism. But again I think this is incredibly interesting to explore and offers very good representation. Okay guys if you've seen the film let me know what you think of it in the comments, don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!